Hello, and welcome to Ohio Hobbies. Here we are. We're doing a box of nickels. It's been a minute since I found a buffalo. It's been a little bit since I found that V. And maybe some silver. We're hoping to get something good. So let's crack this thing open and see what we got going inside. At least hope it circulated. Yeah, we are definitely circulating. No worries there. So, we will, as usual, get to cracking them open. I will bring you in for each and every single find we have along the way. And hopefully it's some good ones, because we still got our lucky smiley hanging out. I just can't let him go. So, we're going to send him off to the side. We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to start throwing some nickels around. Well, this was roll number five right here. We have hanging out up here. That's a 69S I did find in this particular roll. And up there is just one that I think will upgrade my book that I also found in this roll. But the reason I brought you in is the first find of the box, five rolls in, and look what we got. A 1945 Philadelphia Silver. Five rolls in, and we have silver in the box. And it's the first find of the box. Can you believe that? I can't. That's crazy. Five rolls in, and we already hit silver. But no other finds. No 40s, no 50s. Just that. Silver. Very next roll is going to have two finds. We have... What I thought was a 57, but now that I look at it, I think it's going to be a 67. That is a 1967. So that one's going back in the uh, the tank. We're going to set it free. But we did have a 58. So we have one fine. A 1958 out of Denver. Roll 8 gives us another 1940s nickel. 1946 this time to add to the collection we are 10 rolls in and we have to find two more finds this is a 1958 from denver and 1956 from philly that's it 10 rolls in and we have five finds. Slow box, that's for sure. 12 rolls in, and we have one more find. 1954, out of Denver. We'll take it. I think this box must be heating up. We start out with the 1958, out of Philly. And then we can move to the 1952 out of San Francisco. I may actually need that one for my book. I'm going to take a look. And then we have a 1939. Unfortunately, out of Philly. No mint mark on that one. But we'll add it. And I'll check the book for that one. All right, here we are. This is roll number 15. We are going to have one more find for the collection. We have a 1958 out of Denver. Roll 20, this is going to give us two finds. We get a 1958 out of Denver. And we also get a 1951 out of Philadelphia. very next roll roll number 21 and we get a 1954 out of philly roll number 22 we get a 1949 out of philly couple rolls later roll number 25 we get a 1941 out of Philly. Next roll, roll 26. 
We get a 1940 even out of Philly. Roll 29, and we get another 40s nickel. We get a 1947 out of Philly. Roll 31 is going to give us our first foreign. You can see it, Canadian, 1983. It's pretty beat and abused, but it is our first Canadian find of the box. Roll number 35, and we get a 1940. Out of San Francisco. We'll take those estimates all day long. A 1940 out of San Francisco. Can't beat that one. Roll 36 is a 1948. Out of Philly. Roll 37 and we find yet another 58. 1958. Out of Denver. Roll 39 gives us another find. We get a 19. 47 this time out of Philly there's no mint mark on there no nope, that is Philly roll 40 and we get another 40s nickel 1946 out of Philly we will add it to the collection right there Roll 42, and we are going to get our second Canadian of the box. 1987, right there we go, in better shape than the other one. That is number two of the box. All right, roll 42, and we are going to have a 1955 out of Philly. I do believe that is a semi-key date, and I will take those any time I can get them. And right there, we will add it to the collection. Row 44, we're getting near the end. We get a 1959 out of Philly. That's the first 59 of the box, and we were holding a spot for it. Well, this is roll 47. We've only got two more rolls left in the box. I'm sorry, this is roll 48. We only have two rolls left in the box. And this is a 1954 out of Denver. We're going to add it somewhere here. Right there to the collection. 49, and we get a 1952 out of San Francisco. Unfortunately, one year off a of semi-key date. 51 San Francisco semi-key. My 52 is not, but I will take a San Francisco any day of the week. All right, one more roll. Well, it's time for another wrap-up. We got 1959. We have a stack of six 1958s, a 56, 55, three from 54, two 52s, a 51, 49, 48, two 47s, one 2 from 46. We have our silver, Philadelphia, 1945. We have a 41. Two from 1940 and one 1939. Other than that, we have only one 2009 in this box. Two Canadians. And this is our estimate collection from that 68 to 70 range. Two 68s. One's really nice condition right there. That thing's really nice. We have three 69s and 170. That is it for this box of nickels. If you would, give me a thumbs up down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. That way you're notified each and every single time I post a video and you never miss anything. Other than that, down in the description, you will see my email address if you want to send me any correspondence. Below that, if you want to send any items, I have my P.O. box. And below that, if you are willing, able, and have the means to help with the channel, you could donate through PayPal and help me out. Other than that... This has been another fun hunt, a nickel hunt. You gotta love it when you get silver. Can't get mad at any of that. A couple foreigns, I'm thrilled. All right, 
Well, once again, I want to thank you for watching, and as always, get your hobby on.